Hey, hey, what's going on, fight fans? This is Sean with Boxing Associates. We got head trainer here at Woodlands Boxing and Fitness Gym, Ramon Sosa. How you doing today, Ramon? Doing well. All right, listen, that fight that everybody wants to see is Sergio Martinez versus Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., the son of the legendary Julio Cesar Chavez. He's been living in his dad's shadows, and he's trying to come out. He has the belt, and uh, he's been looking pretty impressive lately. But on top of that, Sergio Martinez has been derailing everybody, stopping his last three or four or five opponents. I mean, Sergio Martinez is on top of his game. Um, it looks like Sergio's coming up to 160 to fight um, Chavez at 160. The only little concern people are having is Chavez Jr. never takes the post-fight drug test. You know, everybody's like, why do you keep... And a lot of people think he's on that, what's that, diuretics? The diuretics, the one where it helps you lose weight, even though you're not supposed to take that. They're saying he's blowing up to 180 pounds, 20 pounds overnight for fight night. Can Sergio Martinez beat Chavez Jr. with him blowing up in weight like that? Well, that's a very interesting fight because uh, uh, Sergio Martinez, Martinez with his, with his experience, he's at the top of the game right now. Uh, I believe that uh, Cesar Chavez, you know, Cesar Chavez Jr., is, he's got a little more boxing skills than... than, than uh, Martinez, mm -hmm. but as far as power, I mean, there's no doubt Martinez got the, the money to get the power. Uh, I'm glad that finally Chavez's team, you know, finally came up and, and finally find somebody that is worthy <laughs> because they've always taken, you know, it's, it's, it's a money game, you know. It's a uh, top ranks baby and that's a, you know, Hispanic, you know, when they, when, they, when he fights, you know, they pay a lot for pay-per-view, all the, all the, especially the Mexican crowd. And, and he's still fighting, no matter what, he's still his, his daddy's shadow. And, and finally he's going up against somebody that I think is going to give him a hell of a fight. And to be honest with you, uh, Martinez, I think, is going to win the fight you know, by knockout. Wow. You know, Martinez is very, very powerful. He's not, doesn't have a lot of boxing skills. But as far as, you know, uh, getting there, and, and then the problem that I see with Chavez, he's going to try to go and try that macho man yep. fight with him. And then he's going to walk right into Chavez when uh, uh, Martinez either a hook or straight, you know, punch, straight right or, or the left, you know. And, and that's going to be his mistake because he's going to fall right into that game. Right. And what do you think about Floyd Mayweather? You know, before he went to jail, he was always talking about these guys need to be tested. They need to be tested. They need to be tested. Now, look, who do we have? Lamont Peterson came up. Then you have Andre Berto came up. And just recently, Antonio Tarver just got busted for steroids. You as a trainer, you got fighters, you have amateurs and pros. How important is having these guys tested? Because these tests cost a lot of money. When you're fighting championship fights, you got thousands of dollars for testing. But what about you when you got guys only got four or five fights and they're not making much and you can't afford testing? So was Floyd on the money when he said you need to get these fighters tested? Yeah, uh, I'm definitely on with Floyd, you know, because uh, you never know uh, what these guys are taking in now with the new age of of all these drugs and that you have these so-called scientists that can hide the drug, you know, tiki, right. you know, they can hide in the, in the system. Right. Uh, see, that's very difficult uh, to do, and, and especially when guys are coming up, they're looking for every age that they can to get to the next level. Right. Uh, as far as here in Texas, I know the commission here <laughs> has a thing that where they test randomly. You know, they tell you before the fight, you know, your body can be tested randomly. So I don't know how they do the testing or how they pick them, but at any chance, you know, they come into the dressing room up there and say, look, you, 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 you get tested. You know, uh, I believe everyone should be tested. I mean, there's got to be a way where uh, even if you're one or two fights or 30 or 40 fights, you know, pay-per-view fighter, especially, you get tested. You know, you're going to win, you win, win legally. You don't need no, no uh, permanent enhancement drug to... Uh, do it, you know. Do it, so, do it. so Mayweather was fully right to ask Pacquiao to take a drug test. Yeah, you know, I don't. Uh, not just, not just pee. He wants to draw blood. Yeah, yeah. The urine sample that he's talking about, you know, and, and, and the blood, I guess, is more, more you know, accurate. Yeah, more accurate. And, and, and a lot of people don't want to take it because it finds more stuff. Yeah, exactly, and, and that's exactly right. Because when you take that blood test, you know, that's, you can't hide. And, and by Mayweather. Uh, Making or once you know Pacquiao, if they do ever fight, take it. Uh, hey, Pacquiao should do it. You know, if he's not hiding anything, you know why? And I think you know it's not about ego. I don't know. I don't know what his problem is. 
And for that kind of money, they can take my blood in between rounds. I don't care. <laughs> you know? But if, if they ask me for that kind of money, you're going to find Mayweather, you can take my blood in between rounds make sure I'm not testing positive, you know? Right. Uh, but yeah, Mayweather, he's, 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 he's coming up with something, you know? Uh, okay. With illegal uh, uh, enhancing drugs. Right. All right, Coach, so, so we got your opinion. So, so Sergio Martinez should walk away if they win. Yeah, I think Sergio Martinez with the power, he's going to, and I believe he's going to win by knockout. Like I said, uh, Chavez is going to go in there and try to go toe to toe with him, and he's going to get caught. Okay. He's going to get caught just like he caught, just like uh, uh, Martinez caught a, what's his name, a tall kid. Uh, he, he, uh, he beat uh, Rubio, Mark Antonio, he beat Peter Manfredo. You talking about the one Chavez or Martinez? Martinez. Uh, guy, I can remind you of my guy. He's Paul living a kid, just got crippled, you know. Oh, oh, against Paul Williams. Paul Williams, yeah, it was beautiful, yeah, exactly. That and look, Coach Sosa, you, uh, you heard about Paul Williams being that bad motorcycle accident, paralyzed from the waist down. Um, the doctor said he probably won't walk again, uh, I mean, but you never know. But I think he said before, in a couple fights before, he's made enough money and has Al Heyman as his trainer, man, as his manager. So pretty sure he should be straight for the rest of life with his money, huh? What do you want to say to Paul Williams and his injury and probably not being able to walk and box again? You know, it's life, you know, we all don't know what the future's going to be. You can just be walking out there, anything can happen, accident can happen at any time to any one of us. It doesn't have to be in the motorcycle, it doesn't have to be anything. It just, that's how it is life, you know. It's just, uh, these athletes need to understand that it's day to day. You know, make right. sure you live your life right, have your money saved and put right. in, in the right investment. Don't have just people just doing whatever they want with your money. Boxing so, is not forever. It's not forever, exactly. And just live right day to day. You do the right thing. Accident happens. It happened to me, it happened to you, it happened to anybody. Right. Financially, you got to be ready. Okay? Right. Because anything can happen. And I wish, you know, I wish the best for for Paul Williams. And I'm sure that, that, that he made enough money where he can live well. And there's a lot of, not that it's going to make any difference, but his. He being young, you know, he's going to be handicapped for the rest of his life. It's not easy, I understand, for him or his family. But uh, I think he's done well enough to take care of his family for the rest of his life. Right. All right, Coach Sussie, we thank you for your time. Thank you.